I will be showing you how to go from this to this. I will be comparing and benchmarking each major setting for graphics and performance differences so you can better optimize the game for your system and I will be giving you my optimized settings as well. Let's start with the CPU performance. In a big battle with lots of enemies on screen, using CPU limited settings, the R5 3600X averages just over 50 FPS, with the 1% lows dropping to around 40 FPS. That's pretty fair for a mid-range CPU from 2019. So if you have a similar CPU, don't expect a locked 60 FPS, but a variable refresh rate between 30 and 60 FPS. As for frame times and smoothness, I did notice a couple jarring drops here and there during my time with the game, but it was nothing major. Now let's get into the settings. Starting with resolution upscaling, native TAA clearly looks the sharpest here, but with an over sharpened look, while FSR2 and DLSS quality are noticeably blurrier respectively. In terms of image sharpness, I would say FSR2 looks the most balanced here. In terms of aliasing however, both native TAA and FSR2 quality have noticeable shimmering on edges and of course DLSS quality entirely eliminates those issues, at least in this scene. As for artifacting and shimmering during motion, both TAA and DLSS quality don't have any noticeable problems, while FSR2 suffers from slightly visible shimmering during motion. As for the motion blur intensity, all options are very subtle and look decent, and there is no noticeable performance difference. Texture filtering is straightforward here, and the performance impact is negligible. Go for 16 times here. The texture resolution setting has a noticeable impact to the image quality. It's only when going too high do the textures stop looking low res, and I wasn't able to tell the difference between high and ultra. By the way, the VRAM usage doesn't change if you lower the setting while in game, so make sure to restart the game for it to properly adjust VRAM. The shadow setting gradually improves shadow quality with a measurable FPS difference between each option. Go with medium for the best balance. Screen space ambient occlusion is vital to the image quality. While going from default to high does look a bit more accurate and overall better, its FPS cost isn't really worth it, unless you have the spare performance. Now for screen space reflections. Going from off to default has a very large impact to the image quality, with a small impact to the FPS, and turning it up to high has a small improvement to the reflection resolution, but comes at a big impact to the FPS. Use default for the best balance. The volumetric setting is the most demanding setting in the game, depending on the location. And thankfully, 
The difference between the options are very hard to tell apart. Use low for basically free FPS. The effect setting controls one of the most important aspects about this game, the blood decals. Using low completely disables them on the player character, basically numbing down the gore of the game, while using medium and high enables those blood decals, and they look incredible. As for performance, there is a very small impact with each option, so do yourself a favor and keep this setting on high. The detail setting has a vital impact to the game's world, with low, medium, and high having gradual improvements to the image quality, while ultra doesn't really look any different to high, and it can decrease the FPS even more. So use high for the best balance. I couldn't notice what the cloth simulation setting did but I tested the performance across many CPU and GPU limited scenarios and found no measurable difference. The game on max settings can be a bit demanding depending on the scene and using the optimized settings at native gains us back around 25% FPS. That's obviously not enough. So turning on the LSS quality further increased FPS over the native optimized settings by 55%. So using max settings at native averaged around 30 FPS and using the optimized settings with the LSS quality averaged us around 60 FPS. That's basically double the FPS right here and the image quality during gameplay barely looks any different. This game has a few but meaningful and impactful settings, which I respect. And even with max settings at 1440p, the game comfortably sits below the 8GB VRAM buffer. This game is truly a breath of fresh air from the games that have been releasing lately.